Apparently there was a problem going on in Judah where there was buying and selling and business of all sorts of things going on on the Sabbath day. There were those who were actually doing the work of creating. Or Remember we talked about work or toil and the idea of it being to produce fruit, that which would be lucrative and that you could turn around and sell, that kind of a thing? Well, look what you see happening. So there's ramifications. We talked about it when we started in Exodus 31 that if you were to break or profane the Sabbath, that you were to be either cut off or killed depending on what level of breaking of it that you did. And so strong ramifications. He's saying, look, you guys are not getting it. He's punished us. We're in punishment now for doing these kind of things. And now you're going to continue to do them? By the way, people will say then, well, if it's such a serious issue, why doesn't Messiah bring it up? Because it was the one issue that that didn't need bringing up. (laughs) I mean, he didn't need to tell them to keep the Sabbath. That had to already be assumed. This is like top of the list, number one rule. Don't break the Sabbath. Keep the Sabbath. Remember it, guard it, etc. Hey, it's in the top ten. Physical effort is not the issue. The, the, the Levites that were in the temple, the Kohanim, were doing sacrifices and doing all kinds of physical effort on Shabbat. It's that it's physical effort commanded by Yahweh that's important, or that's to facilitate the, that which is commanded by Yahweh that's important. When if you ever ask me a question about whether or not you should do something on Shabbat, we'll probably end up right here. This is, to me, the best two verses for the right approach, context, and mindset when asking the question, is this okay on Shabbat? Okay, right here in Isaiah 58. When we see instructions about Shabbats or holy days that are treated as Shabbats, there may be some things that are added additionally that are unique to a one day, like Yom Kippur, you add the afflicting yourselves. But there are other things that are common to all of them. And you see that expressed in multiple places. And that's where you see the idea of bearing no burdens on the Sabbath day and things like the not doing work on the Sabbaths, etc., that are common to all Sabbaths, the annual ones that are connected to holy days as well as the weekly one. Now, notice the word there says, those that would join themselves. Now, we see that joining self thing in Ezekiel 37 with the coming together of the two sticks. Okay, Yehuda and their companions, as well as Ephraim and his companions. We also see this in Romans 11 and the grafting into the olive tree. Okay, so we see this idea of joining themselves to serve him and love the name of Yahweh, the authority of Yahweh. That's the key, to love his authority. We whine and complain about sometimes, and often maybe even, when his authority gets in the way of what we want. Which authority are you going to listen to? Oh, but my boss is going to fire me. He's an authority if I don't come in on Saturday, on Sabbath. Um, Yahweh says there's bigger ramifications than that. What are you afraid of? Losing a job or losing your salvation, your future, your, your, your deliverance? What are you afraid of losing? You know, it's hysterical to me how many people will say to me over and over again when they're brand new to all of this, Well, I'm just trying to figure out how much of the Old Testament transferred forward into the New Testament. I'll make it simple for you, all of it. The reason you're struggling to figure it out is because you're trying to find something that doesn't exist. It all transfers. There is no separating it out. So this is very clear and stark warning about, again, you can see how Isaiah 58 is in here. They did what they wanted, not what I said. It wasn't my ways, my right rule, my, 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 he says over and over again. Not your, your, yours. He goes, do it my way, not your way. Because my way brings life. Your way brings fleeting pleasure, maybe. So when we look at something like Colossians that deals with Sabbaths, the most likely thing happening here is that they were being judged by the, their, remember, a lot of these are Gentiles coming into and joining themselves into the body. They were being judged, as many of you are, by their family members. Anybody have family members that are not keeping new moons, feasts, and Sabbaths judging you? So 
That, any idea that that's possibly what's going on in, in the Colossian community? He's saying, look, stop letting those people judge you that are not supposed to be in a position to judge you. They don't have the authority or the right to do it. So stop submitting to that authority. What I use this one for now is that it lists what's known as the 39 things that are the way they would call the melakha. Okay, remember we talked about work being melakha? So this is what they understand as the 39 things that fall under the category called melakha. Unless somebody is going to be actually injured in some way or die, something that critical, it's not an ox in a ditch moment. I had someone say to me, well, you know, uh, I woke up this morning. This is after they got to Sabbath services and they're telling me this on Shabbat at services. Well, you know, I woke up this morning and realized I forgot to buy milk, and so the kids needed milk for their cereal, so I had to go out and get it. Oh, I guess that was like my ox in a ditch. I was like, why? Were your children going to die? Unless they were going to die, this was no ox in a ditch. And so let's stop doing that. Let's stop making, oh, well, my boss is going to fire me if I don't go in, so that must be my ox in a ditch. No, if you get fired, you're also not going to die. The Sabbath is critical. It's the sign. It's the key. Now, if you keep the Sabbath and nothing else, that's not enough. But it's, it's sort of that transitional point. If you can get the Sabbath right, you'll get everything else right because your heart will start focusing on him in a way that is correct, which will lead you to get the rest of it right. 